。早喺二零零三年，著名 Remote Viewer 权威代表人物 Adams 已经喺一个名为 Coast to Coast 嘅电台节目中，藉住 Remote Viewing 嘅技术。预见日本将会发生大地震，并会因大地震而导致当地核电厂发生核辐射泄漏，情况最低嘅限度都会有如一个小型嘅切尔诺贝尔事件一样。Even more predictions were revealed on national radio, but this next event was more terrifying than many could have imagined. I was, I was, I was flabbergasted by the data. I, I... I got as a result of remote viewing the next X day in Tokyo because this this reactor problem, re, a reactor breaking, and what I said to the Japanese, I said, and on national radio in my country, this is going to be at least a mini Chernobyl, at least a mini Chernobyl. So again, what I said on national radio in my country because the Japanese would not scare want to scare their their citizens with this knowledge was that. Japan is going to experience, and when they experience this big earthquake, this next big earthquake, Tokyo will be okay, but this reactor problem will cause at least a mini Chernobyl. But the uh, their breeder reactor is going to break, causing a, a, essentially a, another Chernobyl. Uh, Ed, Ed, is that a double containment type reactor? It is, but it doesn't matter. How big a, an earthquake are you talking about? We're talking about a pretty big earthquake. These these these、uh, reactors in Japan are designed to take earthquakes up to about 7.8 without even breaking. Right. And so we're talking about a real catastrophic earthquake, a very big shaker that does not do a lot of damage to Tokyo. We know, for instance, we believe based upon our work and have described this for the Japanese viewing audience, the large modern skyscraper standing. On March 11, 2011, this tragic prediction came to pass: a massive 8.9 earthquake struck off the coast of Japan, resulting in a tsunami that swept across the Japanese landscape, engulfing entire towns. Just as Ed Dames predicted, power plants were damaged, resulting in the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl.